A logical partition, commonly called an LPAR, is a subset of computers' hardware resources, virtualized as a separate computer. In effect, a physical machine can be partitioned into multiple logical partitions, each hosting a separate operating system. History IBM have developed the concept of hypervisors and in 1972 provided it for the S-370 as Virtual Machine Facility-370. IBM introduced the start interpretive execution instruction as part of 370XA architecture on the 3081, as well as VMXA versions of VM to exploit it. PRSM is a Type 1 hypervisor based on the CP component of VMXA that runs directly on the machine level and allocates system resources across LPARs to share physical resources. It is a standard feature on IBM System Z, System P, and System I machines. The terms PRSM and LPAR are often used interchangeably, including in IBM documentation. Formally, LPAR designates the logical partitioning function and mode of operation, whereas PRSM is the commercial designation of the feature. This technology was later developed separately by Amdahl and Hitachi Data Systems for their implementations of the ESA 390 architecture in the mid 1980s, and continued by IBM for the System Z and System I architectures. LPAR and PRSM reconfigurations can be made without rebooting the computer, that is, while some LPARs remain active. Reconfigurations can include changing channel path definitions and device definitions. ZVM supports the Z architecture HIPAA sockets function for high speed TCP IP communication among virtual machines and logical partitions within the same IBM Z series server. This function uses an adaptation of the queued direct input output high speed I.O. protocol. IBM later introduced LPARs to their mid range I series and P series servers in 1999 and 2001, respectively, albeit with varying technical specifications. Multiple operating systems are compatible with LPARs, including ZOS, ZVM, ZVSE, ZTPF, AIX, Linux and iOS. In storage systems, such as the IBM Total Storage DS8000, LPARs allow for multiple virtual instances of a storage array to exist within a single physical array. In first part of 2010 year, Fujitsu announced availability of its x86-64 Prima Quest line of servers, which support LPARs. In second part of 2011 year, Hitachi has announced availability of CB2000 and CB320 Blade systems, which support LPAR on x86-64 hardware. Hardware partitioning, logical partitioning divides hardware resources. Two LPARs may access memory from a common memory chip, provided that the ranges of addresses directly accessible to each do not overlap. One partition may indirectly control memory controlled by a second partition but only by commanding a process in that partition. CPUs may be dedicated to a single LPAR or shared. While on Amdahl's MDF, multiple domain feature, it was possible to configure an LPAR with both shared and dedicated CPUs. This is no longer possible with any mainframes flavors currently in the market. On IBM mainframes, LPARs are managed by the PRSM facility. IBM mainframes operate exclusively in LPAR mode, even when there is only one partition on a machine. Multiple LPARs running ZOS can form a sysplex or parallel sysplex, whether on one machine or spread across multiple machines. On IBM System P power hardware, LPARs are managed by the power hypervisor. The hypervisor or power VM acts as a virtual switch between the LPARs and also handles the virtual SCSI traffic between LPARs. Micro partitioning supports 10 times as many LPARs as processors with fractional allocations. It was introduced with the POWER5 processor. All IBM POWER5 and POWER6 systems may be partitioned. Note that a full system partition may be defined where all resources are consumed by a single partition. System P servers with Power VM enabled allow LPARs with shared CPUs to delegate their unused cycles into the shared pool. 
dedicated processes are not available for sharing. Unused cycles become available for other partitions and are governed by the parameters specified when the LPA is defined. Changes to a running partition can be made dynamically up to the maximum value set, and down to the minimum value set in the active profile. The changing of resource allocations without restart of the logical partition is called dynamic logical partitioning. IBM Power VM is the licensed purchased feature that enables the virtualization features on P4, 5, 6, 7 series servers. LPARs safely allow combining multiple test, development, quality assurance, and production work on the same server, offering advantages such as lower costs, faster deployment, and more convenience. IBM mainframe LPARs are common criteria EAL5 certifiable, equivalent to physically unconnected servers, so they support the highest security requirements, including military use. Nearly all IBM mainframes run with multiple LPARs with the IBM System Z9 and IBM System Z10 supporting up to 60 LPARs. See also, VM, full virtualization, dynamic logical partitioning, workload partitions, HIPAA socket, hypervisor, virtualization, power VM, Fujitsu XPAR, Sun Solaris containers, Sun LDOM, references. External links, Security on the Mainframe, December 2009, by Karan Singh, Chapter 4. Virtualization, page 24 and page 83. System I and System P, Logical Partitioning Guide, IBM System P Virtualization A Euro The Most Complete Virtualization Offering for Unix and Linux, Hitachi Compute Blade LPARs, Fujitsu XPARs and Flexible I.O. and Partitioning.